And DK family, stop whatever you're doing right now because we have an emergency. I can't believe this is happening seven days before our wedding. Like, what? Not just seven days before our wedding. Not just seven days before our wedding. Four days before we leave. Oh, I didn't even consider that. Oh, I guess it, the plot thickens, guys. The plot thickens. Listen, we literally have an emergency and it's to do with my attire. My attire for the wedding is ruined. No, no, I'm joking. It's not ruined, but it's literally such an inconvenience. It just didn't need to happen. And if the suit company done their job properly, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But unfortunately, we're here right now having this conversation with you so make sure you like you comment put us on the algorithm just so this unfortunate event is worth something <laughs> now you're probably wondering what could go wrong what is so catastrophically bad that Dante had to make a YouTube video about this well my suit guys my suit is not ready it's not it's not finished how is my suit not finished I paid quite a bit of money to get my suit tailored and it's not tailored what? And I literally only found this out this morning. Gaudi was like, Dante, try on your suit. I want to see if it fits, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? Uh, let's, let me not leave it to the last minute, which I already am, by the way. Let me try it on. So I open up my suit, right? And it's beautiful fabric. It's amazing. The color's amazing. It's, it's a beautiful suit. But then what do I see on the blazer? You know, let me not even tell you. I'm just going to show you, okay? Bear with me. Alright, so here's my suit. So this suit has been hanging up in the bedroom for a whole week and I haven't opened it. I don't, I don't know why, don't ask me, I just haven't opened it. I trust the people that's made it, so I was like, you know what, let me just keep it clean because it is a cream suit and I didn't want to get my grippy fingers over it. But today I opened it and unfortunately I found something that I'm not happy with. So let me show you and share this unfortunate series of events with you guys. I want you guys to tell me if this is normal or did they just not do their job properly? Because I was contemplating with myself, is this meant to happen? I don't get suits regularly. I, like This is my first ever proper suit. So I'm not sure how things are meant to be, but you guys let me know uh, like if this is normal. Did they actually make a mistake? What's going on? So please tell me guys, why is the pin still in the suit? It's not been tapered at all. Like they were meant to pull this all in, right? They were meant to pull this all in, and it's not been done. Look at that. And the thing is, the trousers are fine. They've tapered the trousers, but then they forgot about the suit. The main, the main blazer, they forgot about it. The biggest thing on this hanger, they forgot about. I was gonna go ahead and just take the pins out because I was like, oh, what, they forgot. But no, they didn't forget because you can see that nothing's been cut in or anything. So now we're gonna have to go all the way to the suit shop and tell them you guys forgot to tape on my suit. And I have four days until we leave to Bali. Four days, can you guys get this done in, you know, I don't even wanna know if you can get it done in four days. I want you to do it now for my inconvenience that you have caused me. Because this is crazy, guys. I don't have time to keep going back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, tape it here, tape, no. I paid for a service, you guys said it was done, and it's not done. So do I get a refund? Are you gonna do it right now in front of my eyes? What's gonna happen? We shall find out. And you guys are gonna come along on this crazy adventure to see if we can get the suit tape in the time. We are on route. And route. <laughs> I, I feel like Dante and I are not taking seriously the fact that we're leaving in four days and his jacket is not ready. Definitely not taking it seriously. It's just like, cause lately there's just so much happening every time we travel. Like the other day we were coming back from Dubai and I forgot our cabin luggage at, at, at the security. security. <laughs> so I, I mean, had to run down from our gate all the way back down to security and luckily they there, had guys. it behind uh, the security. We had like four minutes. I, yeah. Like we almost missed a fight. Was it was crazy. If you guys follow us on Snapchat, you would have seen the whole journey because even though we was rushing and we had four minutes, I was like, oh, oh, snap. I was snapping the whole And then when we came back from Morocco, I got food poisoning. We got kicked off a plane. Boy, it was crazy. We had to wait in the airport for six hours. It was crazy. So I think I'm just getting like used to stuff happening and I'm just kind of going with the flow and taking it as it comes and just trusting that everything will be fine. I trust in my heart that Dante's suit will be fine. Like Hopefully be they ready. can fix it today because I don't want to have yeah, to keep going that's very back true. and back. You know, Dante and I have priorities. Instead of going straight to go get the suit done, we stop. In our car wash. <laughs> we actually, I feel like you and I, we don't prioritize the right thing. Well, we're selling the car tomorrow, so this is True. the only car wash that I trust to, to wash the car properly. True, we have to sell the car tomorrow. But also, 
this is also very important because it's like oh yeah the quicker we go there the quicker it gets yeah. to be like, um, I don't know whatever what do we can do? we get a Starbucks on the way of course yes priorities it's just <laughs> listen babe at least I prioritize you that's the most important thing rule number one prioritize your man rule number two prioritize the moolah rule number three where do I come into this what do you mean you don't know <laughs> I'm joking. Prioritize everybody. No. Especially your, your people you love. So am I. See me? I touch his forehead. <laughs> We're on our way to the suit supply shop. However, Dante made a good point about calling them beforehand and seeing, like, just making them aware that we are on our way because they, you know, messed up. So let's see My if they answer. Today we are opening till 8 p.m. Please stay on the line and a store representative will be with you for. They're really busy in that shop, though. Not Unfortunately, there are no store representatives available at this time. All right, you know what's up, DK family. You know what's up. We're about to go there. We gotta stir some shit out. Every time that something happens that that I don't like, I'm just marking them down. They're, they're getting a free star at the moment. You already gave them a review, though, didn't you? Yeah, I gave them a Yeah, review. I know you did. Because they had good customer service. Hold Dante, I was like, put on the suit because you never know. Like, yeah, just make sure so everything is right. And he was like, yeah, okay, let me do it real quick. And he was like, the, the pins are still in here. And I was like, what? And then we looked and I was like, hey, like, this is what they were meant to take off. But like, how do you miss that? You know what I mean? Like, that's how, basically the whole job. That's the whole job. And it's like, how do you miss doing that? I don't know, it's beyond me. God has a plan. Alright guys, we just arrived at the suit shop. Am I nervous? No, because I've dealt with these situations many times. I've dealt with the customer service industry for many, many years. So I'm going to go in there, be polite, make them aware of the issue, make them aware of my uh, my time schedule and let them know I don't have a lot of time. So can we get it done today? And when they tell you that they can get it done today, also urge them to give you a refund for the congestion charge we paid today. Also, not just that, a refund for the tailoring price that I paid because you guys didn't do your job, okay? I'm going to obviously not request a refund for the suit, but just the tailoring price because you guys didn't tailor the suit. So I want the refund for that, even though it's like 30, 40 pounds, I don't mind. But anyway, action time, baby. Action time. Time for action. <laughs> All right, I'm going to wait in the car just All in right. case someone wants to come and move the car. Guard the car. I am guarding the car. And it is like... Dad is leaving me? <laughs> He's going, bye! Okay, bye bye, mornings! Mommy! Ah! <laughs> and I knew she was too silent! No, no, mornings, no, no, because listen, Dada just cleaned the No! Dada just cleaned the car! Go lay down. Mommy's gonna stay right here, I promise. I will not leave you, baby. I won't leave you, baby. I won't leave you. Alright. Dante is back. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> hey. Wee. So what are the news, babe? What are the news? What is the news? Let me inform DK. Don't Kami. move, by, by, by I have to go Starbucks. I have to go pee. Oh, I so need stay to pee here. too. Well, you stay here. Uh, Tell me, what's the news? All right. So spoke to the supervisor, spoke to the manager. They were very apologetic, very attentive. They uh, expressed their sincere apologies. And originally they said, sorry, initially they said that we can get it all done for you Saturday morning. Oof. But then the manager said, you know what, let me speak to my tailor, his best tailor. And he said, you know what, we can do it for you tonight. Woo! And, and without me asking for a refund, they said we're going to refund you the price that you paid for the tailoring as a... Uh, you know, a sorry, like as a good gesture, a goodwill. Yeah, nice. that's awesome. And you didn't even have to say anything. You just I, had to tell them what happened. I went in there with good energy, shook their hands, smiled at them, explained to them, explained them the situation very nicely in a calm manner. And, you know, when you give good energy, you receive it back. Amen to that. And they were very nice people there. So I didn't want to kick up a fuss. Because of course, because they're, they're really nice. They've had a great day, you know, so I don't want to ruin that with my energy. So we'll come in there with great energy and get the problem solved. There we go. There we go, honey bunny. So I it's love gonna this. going to be fixed this tonight. Tonight is going to be fixed. We're going to go eat. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm proud of you. Wedding. 
Okay. Here's another thing, though. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta find a shoe. Oh, we haven't got shoes. <laughs> oh, We're leaving bro. in four days and we haven't got shoes. Three hours later. It's a really nice shape to it now. Good. Thank you for getting this done so quickly. I appreciate it. It was our mistake. I appreciate it. Please tell the tailor as well that I appreciate it. Alright, guys, we got the suit. We got the suit. We're suited up. Alright, guys, got the green light. We're readier now. Readier. Alright, guys, listen. Let me just say something. Today, we started with a problem. And in the evening, we ended with a solution and everything's fixed. So never to, never be too fixated on the problem. Always look for solution and always enter the problem with positive vibes, positive frequency yes, and an open mind because you will get the problem resolved. Okay? With every problem there's a solution. So keep your head up. Let's go. Thank you for watching this video. Love you. We'll catch you in the next one.